guys, this is Donald's Movies and welcome to another World of Warcraft lore lesson. Now, in this video, I will be covering one of the Azeroth races known as the Centaur. And this was originally actually planned for the lore week I did like a month ago. But since I kind of went on some other route, I thought I would kind of finish this series and I'm gonna add a few more videos of other races. So, the Centaur aren't really anything new, I mean we've seen them in Warcraft 3 in big numbers and they are all throughout World of Warcraft, even though their lore isn't really that widespread, but who are the Centaur and how did they came to be? Now, you might have thought that the name Centaur is somehow similar to Scenarius the Demigod because, you know, Centaur, Scenarius, and even though there isn't really a direct connection, there is a connection. Long ago, Cenarius had three sons, Remulus, Ordanus and Zeter. And Zeter was a bit of a rebellious one and a jealous one. And even though his father didn't really agree, he fell in love with the elemental princess Teradras, the daughter of Terezane of Deepholm that you have seen before. And this was not exactly your average couple because they had two very different races of completely, completely different origin. And if you kind of thought this wouldn't really come out well, you were right because they made and a new race was born known as the Centaur and they did resemble the Zeter but they were completely deformed they, they didn't really get a lot of his good features they weren't exactly a pretty race mostly because of Teradras and for that their heart was filled with hatred and thus they actually killed their own father Zeter and those Centaurs were later on known as the five Khans that later on created the five clans that we have today the Magram, the Kolkar, the Galak, the Gelkis and the Moradine, which essentially just means green, red, yellow, black and brown clan. And the members of those clans actually use those colors on their weapons and their faces and everything like that. Now, Teradras still loved Zeter and was keeping his remains for a long time in Moradon, while Zeter had figured out that what he did was a mistake and he wanted us to actually free his remains. And the reason for this is because he is kinda immortal and he is still in the Emerald Dream and he is actually the son of a demigod, so he actually can return at some point, like his spirit can return to the material plane. Which is a thing Teradras doesn't seem to like comprehend or realize and I think most likely that is because she's an elemental and the elementals were here way before the titans came, way before the creation of the Emerald Dream and all the planes, even the elemental planes, so I don't think they really comprehend what's really going on with those demigod spirits and the immortals. But with all that aside, let's just focus on the race of Centaur. Um, this is like a lore lesson on the Centaur. I don't really want to focus too much on the demigods or anything like that. Now, the race of the Centaur were a complete opposite of their father and their scenarios and their entire origin because they didn't want peace, they didn't want the balance of the nature, and they're also very primitive, they're stupid in many cases, they don't have any hygiene, they're very short-sighted, and they oftentimes destroy their own nature, which is a huge sin considering their origin because they're literally the keepers of the nature, and they're known as the ungrateful bastard offspring of Zeter and of Cenarius in a way, because Cenarius is the father of Zeter. Now, we have first seen the Centaur in Warcraft 3, and they were a big enemy of the Tauren, and we're almost completely certain at this point that if the Horde never came to Kalimdor, it would only be a matter of time before the Tauren actually went extinct because they were constantly in war with the centaur and you're probably wondering how is it possible that the tauren who are these huge creatures and i mean the centaur aren't that big how is that they couldn't defend themselves and that really kind of isn't the case because it is kind of misrepresented in the actual game like in reality in the lore the centaur are even bigger than the tauren and they literally have built-in mounts and they can run way faster and sometimes they can even weigh more than two tons so they're like bigger than the Tauren and they're stronger than the Tauren and they also run in packs so they can be very very destructive and they're also a very barbarous race I mean they brutally murder other creatures and very often they actually cannibalize them and they're even known to take prisoners for like labor in their minds and in most cases they end up just eating them. Now, their males in most cases are warriors, while their females are usually shamans, but the way they practice shamanism isn't like your average shaman you have in the Horde or the Alliance, because they practice a very dark form of shamanism, which is called dark shamanism, but it is a bit of a, like, a different form, and they twist the elements and just bend them to their will, 
However, it really isn't certain how powerful their shamans are. I don't really think they're that powerful. And we don't even know how the centaur even learned about shamanism and how the, the shamans even came to be. The centaur also value conquests more than anything and their advantage is their mobility since they can reach distant locations quite easily and when they're running in a pack they can literally just make like a stampede and just destroy their opponents. However their main issue though is that they're a very very short sighted and a very primitive race because the centaur are essentially split into 4 tribes that I described before but there are many different sections and subsections I mean we even know that there are some centaur on the eastern kingdoms that are most likely extinct by now and very often they battle each other for the stupidest reasons and they lose quite a lot of their numbers because of that and if they didn't do that and if they actually united together they would actually be a huge threat to the alliance in the horde and even before like the alliance came to Kalimdor and before like the horde came to Kalimdor they could have even taken most of the continent. Unluckily for them, that train kinda passed for them because they have lost so many of their numbers in their civil wars and they're starting to become almost extinct at this point in the lore. And a big reason for that is also because the Alliance and the Horde have a presence in Kalimdor and they have studied them and they kinda realize that they're a very <laughs> stupid race if you could call it that. And what they're doing is they're starting to make internal conflicts between them just to kinda keep them at bay because it's way better to just let them fight each other and kill each other instead of like battling us and killing our own people. However, it isn't really all that bad with the centaur. I mean, yes, they're one of the most unfriendliest races that we know. They're very primitive, barbarous, but not all of them because there were some cases of attempts to unify them and some even worked, although we don't really know the result of that. It is kind of uncertain. And it is actually possible at some point that maybe the centaur will be able to unite and maybe even realize their origin and try to embrace the roots of scenarios instead of trying to destroy everything inside kill everyone and just even battle each other. Alright, that is all I have for this lore lesson, now I hope you have enjoyed and learned something and I have a few more similar races from the world of Azeroth that I'm gonna cover soon like the Quillbor and do leave your own suggestions on what you would like to see on the channel and also don't forget to like and subscribe if you're not subscribed to the channel already as it really helps out the channel and keeps all the videos going and thanks a lot for taking time out of your day to watch this video and see you next time.